Okay, we now welcome on to the show Joanne Tran. Joanne, welcome to the show. Hi. All right, so uh, let's get a bit of background here. So for people that don't know uh, who you are, now last time there were uh, climate strikes around Australia, you had an article in the Daily Telegraph where you were talking about how you weren't going to attend the strikes uh, despite the fact, uh, you know, you were a young high school, uh, you're a young high school student and that was like the prime demographic of people that were attending the strikes. You said you weren't going. Uh, so... That's the background. So I just want to ask, were you asked to speak at the UN Climate Change Conference that Greta Thunberg was just speaking at? No, I wasn't. I unfortunately wasn't invited to speak there. That is a disgrace, Joanne. I thought I was very surprised you weren't asked to give your speech at that event. So what did you think about the climate stri- uh, strikes in uh, around Australia and around the world last week? Um, it was interesting seeing it happen again and... Um, I mean, like, I remember being at school that morning, that day, and I'm um, seeing all, like, my school just open up the gates and just not even bothering checking, like, whether, like, they were, like, faking early leavers notes and they're just letting them go. And it just seems like there's just been, like, this sort of, like, even they might, like, even, like, though, like, the authorities in schools and, like, universities may not show that, like, you know, um, may not sort of, like, say that, like, you know, it's they're in support for like the climate strike and like supporting kids leaving school. It seems like the reactions that they show with just like, for example, at my school, just opening up the gates and letting the kids go says a lot. Yeah. Uh, now my theory with this climate strike that was uh, last week was that it was, wasn't as well attended as the last one from your circle of friends. Did more people go this time or did more people go last time? Do you reckon? I think definitely more people went last time. And that also played into the fact that, like we're towards the end of the term like we don't have as many classes now and that just like it was just less of an incentive to go because you know they just couldn't just skip class anymore because there wasn't really any point <laughs> really so so did many of your friends go do you think or what what kind of percentage are we talking um, estimates fine <laughs> I think around it was mainly the junior years that went because like a lot of the seniors actually had work to do because we have our HSC coming up. So I think it was like around like sixty percent that went. Yeah, so you're making a big uh, change in the world with the falling numbers. People are coming around to the Joanne Tran School yeah. of Thinking. Great job. Oh, <laughs> uh, um, hopefully. All right, so one of the things, like, Pete and I say, if you really want to start marching in the streets, one of the things we want to see is people marching for uh, efforts to alleviate poverty around the world, and that comes with, you know, trading coal, that comes with all this other stuff that uh, the climate protesters say we can't have anymore. So is that yeah. the same sort of thing you'd want to see people stand up for? Yeah, definitely. Like, not many people around my age realise that, um, like, like, the commodities industry that we have in Australia supports our entire economy. I mean, like more than fifty percent of our commodities that we trade come from, uh, more than the uh, more than the exports that we more than fifty percent of the exports that we trade come from, like our mining of like iron ore and coal, and like it's often to like some of the world's po- poorest countries, like India and China and Africa, and they don't realise like you know how much it actually helps over there in terms of alleviating poverty. I mean, millions of people have been lifted out of poverty because of cheap, reliable energy like coal. So that's that's exactly right, Joe, and I said that very well. Now, what about climate change itself? Where do you stand on that? Is Do you think that the effects are exaggerated by proponents? Do you think that, um, that they're overstated? What, where, where do you stand on that? Um, I personally believe in climate change, and I do believe that, you know, um, humans do have an impact on climate change. But at the same time, I feel like in terms of Australia's position on what we should do about climate change should be very limited. I mean, we only emit like very, very small percentages of carbon emissions that contribute to climate change. And I just don't think in terms of what the um, school kids are advocating for are exactly viable or are actually going to contribute to actually like um, helping climate change. When you when you uh, made your sorry when you wrote your first article about the climate strikes and you know got pretty famous off the back of that, what was that experience like for you and what was the feedback you were getting from your position? Hmm. Um, yeah, it was it was really interesting because I live in the inner west of Sydney and my school I would say is pretty left wing, so I would say I've been sort of like being part of this like very small bubble, and I was expecting a lot of backlash and I did get a lot of backlash from like in my local community and also my school. But one thing that I didn't expect was sort of like 
the support that I was, the amount of support I was actually going to get from like anything, like, you know, the majority of people outside of like my little bubble that I live in actually supported what I was saying. Uh, that's really good because, yeah, like we're sort of conditioned – like a lot of people are saying that you can't criticize Greta Thunberg at all and she's just a child, you can't say anything mean. But it did seem that like, you know, you had a fair few people in your life. I know like there was a lot of support, but you had a fair few people who would be defending Greta Thunberg who were more than happy to attack you. Yeah, definitely. I mean, like I think the like the sort of – I guess the – backlash that I got from like I didn't mind getting backlash from people that, that I didn't know on the internet or anything I didn't really mind that it's just sort of like the backlash that I was getting and like the bullying that I was getting from people that I've known since like you know I was like what 13 and like I didn't expect, expect that sort of like you know attack like I don't mind me them attacking me like on like what my policies but them attacking me personally I just felt was just ridiculous so Joanne you're in year 12 aren't you yeah, I'm graduating today. Oh, oh you're graduating. You're, hang on. Snaps. Snaps for, snaps for you're Joanne. You're taking day, time out from your muck-up day <laughs> to hang around with the Young IPA podcast. You, you absolutely... Oh, well, we had ours on one on Monday, so like, um, we got the day off today to okay. stay at home and get ready. So Okay, that's <laughs> yeah. good. And you managed to not get expelled during muck-up day? No, 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 no. I didn't get expelled for muck-up day. I didn't really participate in muck-up day, but um, you know, it was interesting seeing this whole school being torn apart. All right, cool. Joanne, thanks so much for joining us on the show. Thank you so much for having me. Th- 